Hi everyone, it's Craig from Jupley, and I'm back today with part two of the last video where we had gotten two accounts unsuspended for circumventing system policies from the same clients. So as I mentioned in the last video, the client came back to us with a third account that seemed to be suspended for the same exact issue as the other ones, which Jupley had come to the conclusion on as the issue being translation issues on Google's part. So when we submitted the appeal, we explained the same thing that we pretty much did for the other accounts, which there may have been some discrepancies when translating from German to English for these accounts. So you can see on screen here that we received that lovely email that we love receiving here at Jupley, and that is, our team has reviewed your detailed appeal, and based on it, we have unsuspended your account. Awesome. So this third account here, like I said, pretty much the same process. We had come to the conclusion that there were some translation discrepancies. And I can give you an example here. So for this account and this link that they're advertising for, if we open it up, you can see it's all in German. Okay. Now what happens when we translate it to English? Well, there's that lovely link that we talked about in the last video where it gets translated to casualsex.com. So in Google's eyes, you can kind of see how they might consider this to be a violation of their policy, compensated sexual acts, because the domain translates to casual sex. Not only that, even though it's a dating website, you still pay membership and subscription fees for signing up, and that's how it can be taken as such. And we can see that their policy is actually, if you Google Google Ads compensated sexual acts, it's the first result that comes up, and they have a policy explaining this in detail here. So what we did, same as the other two accounts, when we submitted the appeal, we explained to Google, hey, when you translate some of these websites from German to English, it's not what it looks like. So take that into consideration and unsuspend this account because we are actually legitimately advertising for dating websites and there's no policy that says we can't do that. And that's pretty much it. So third account from the same client that we worked on and this one was unsuspended in just about a day, just like the other accounts after we had submitted the appeal. Awesome, if I do say mo so myself. And if you want to get started with getting any of your Google Ads accounts unsuspended within a day, just like this client, three accounts back to back, get started with us today. Sign up, go to jeply.com and submit a request for us to review your account. All right, thanks for joining and we'll see you next time.